vloga, face and over You a queen when I less than I'm a boozy Oh wami, oh wami Oh wami, oh wami Oh wami, oh wami Oh wami, oh wami Hi my ninjas, how are you doing? It's your girl or I'm Nish Pajolo aka Miss Fear Focal Bring back for all entertainment. If it's the first time joining me, you must definitely welcome. Please do make sure that I subscribe and obviously hit the bell. I absolutely love you and do not forget to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. It's at boldly on me. Now my ninjas, we do have a masterclass on the 30th of March. The price is only 390. The details will be somewhere here. Go ahead and take that account number, make that payment, send proof of payment to WhatsApp and you is done. Shibu boom, okay? Ju is done. We'll take it from there. Now, my ninjas, today I'm going to go ahead and talk about the situation that is currently trending and we're going to talk about Nuzipo um, and her husband, Zola Nchangase. Okay, now this is a couple that is on the Mummy Club, and I won't lie, you guys. I actually have not watched the Mummy Club. Okay, I have my reasons that I, there's nothing against, you know, but I've just I, I've not watched it, so I did not know who they were. Honestly, I did not. Um, there is a picture here. I'm sure that I'm gonna put, and you guys will be able to see them. I feel like the husband looks slow. You know, especially I've never like seen him on 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 tape and stuff. You know, on the DVD editing. Uh. He, 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 for me, he comes off as someone that would be slow, slow speaking, calm, definitely not the character that I actually saw in the video that I'm going to obviously show you guys. But anyway, my ninjas, there's an incident that actually happened. There's a video that has been leaked. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and just place it here and I'll be back with the rest of my commentary. <laughs> Now, my ninjas, for me, I ain't even going to lie to you guys. I think that um, I'm going to go ahead and just address this particular thing. I'm a village girl through and through. I was raised in the village. Um, I do adapt, you know, with you people's... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> with you people's <laughs> way of living but personally i'm i'm a village girl there are certain things that um you know I, I will you will not catch me dead on my tracks actually doing however what i can go ahead and say is that um first of all i think the thing that actually upset that man so much was the fact that the kids were now um interfering in whatever it is that was happening between the mother and the father however I will also go ahead and say, you cannot be a traditional man and a screw screw father at the same time. It's impossible. You gotta choose one. It's either gonna be a traditional man, and what do traditional men do? They handle their business in private, okay? They handle their business in private. If you're having a fight with your wife, you do not do that in front of the kids. That is you being a traditional man. Now, when you're a screw screw kind of father, you fight in front of the kids. And guess what? The screw screw gang will definitely jump on top of you. But if that was in Venda, especially back then, was that issue going to fly a thousand percent not? All the kids would have gotten belts. Okay, that's basically that. But I do understand that, you know, it's a different time and it's also a different place. Okay, it's also a very much different uh, place. Now, with all this, as I said, I did not know who these people were for them above. So I'm going to go ahead and read this. This is from um, 
Yolokazi, who said, Nine years ago, Nozipo said yes to the love of her life, Zola in Changase. When the two lovebirds met, Zola had three children while Nozipo had one child. They uh, got married and God blessed them with four children as a couple. Oh, we rebuke the spirit separating families. This was absolutely beautiful. So it means that if Ugai had three kids, she had one, they already had four, and now they had four, which means that is literally eight. Oh. Like it, that's a lot of kids, you know. But it does seem like, you know, they were basically um, <sighs> juggling everything uh, uh, well and, 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 and nice. I did see someone actually saying that um, it's like it's a curse. Um, I do believe that there's also like the the reality show curse, you know. That's why I'm uh, personally, you are not going to see my relationship. I don't even want to lie. I know I love you guys so much. I share so much already. But when it comes to my relationships, I'm just going to prote protect that ish to the last call. You you will know who I marry, but you just won't know anything that happens, like, or the interaction we have. You may maybe get a bit of, oh, you know, my husband did this and that and that and that and that. But... To do like that whole thing of vlogging or putting my marriage, especially marriage, in the public eye is something I'll never ever do. Um, there's so much that actually come with it. You do not know the people that are watching you guys. You do not know what they plot. And people get to learn so much about a person by just watching them. Them niggas out there be witching as hell, okay? But anyway, I I also did see this one that was from Nana that said, Nozipo and the kids, actually the whole family found out about this man's marriage through Facebook. And Niti U, U, U Nozipo is uh, turning the kids against him near Dagwayazi, you know? And then... Um, Someone said, a man who believes his only value in his family is what he can buy them. Uzola is such a big old loser. You, uh, I'm just so sad for Nozipo because she really loves that man and he doesn't even deserve her, okay? Um, somebody said, that love portion is strong. No Zippo should just get a divorce. Okay. Somebody said, that video, everything in that house is broken. Yazi. From the helper kneeling before him and the kids begging for their dad to listen to them. The toddler saying, bye daddy. Oh, no Zippo. Anyways, hoping Miso watches this video and takes an informed decision. Okay. Um, somebody said... I so wish Nozipo would have said, I can't give you the keys, but I'll, I'll, I'll call an Uber and a van at, the, at that cost. No, uh, sorry. Ain't no way you're leaving me with the kids that aren't mine whilst you go to your second wife, I wish. Okay. Uh, so for me, the way that everything is actually coming, the last part that I'm going to read here, this is from Lady Danbury, who said, you can tell that Nozipo Nchangase and her husband had fostered an open relationship with their children, hence they felt free to ask for a sit-down. Today's training video is quite unfortunate, not to mention contrary to what we witnessed from this video. Now, there was a video there where they were sitting with the kids, seems like, you know, they were just having an open conversation and Ubaba seems to be happy. Now, if there's anything that I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys is that as a woman be very stingy with your womb say it again sing it be very 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 stingy when it comes to your womb never have a child for a man have a child for yourself it doesn't matter if he's married you because guess what this married niggas they're still walking away so that the allegations that Umen has now gotten a second wife, the family found out through Facebook. It seems like maybe his family was the one that also went in for Lobola and stuff like that. I do not know, guys. Those are just the allegations that are being thrown online. But personally for me, if I'm with you and I've got four kids with you um, that are ours, obviously she went in, he had three. She took them in to a point where literally these kids are out there even like, you know, fighting for her. All the kids, you know, you could see that no one was with their father. That says a lot about her. But if it just so happened that this man decides that he's walking away, he's going to his second wife, first of all, the man can leave her with those kids. And because she's a woman, she has um, raised them as her, she has definitely gotten that attachment, it means she would have to be left with eight kids to fend for. That is not an easy task. I don't know her pockets. I don't know if her pockets can be able to carry a household like that. 
one advice that I'll give you guys that is the best that I've gotten, have the number of kids that you alone can be able to actually take care of. Because if you go through your life and say, I'm going to have 10 kids, this man will support. He may be a faithful man. He may be a really good man, but he may die early and you don't know. So at whatever point, you need to already just have it in your mind to say, if it ever happens that I have to take care of these kids, will I be able to afford to take care of 25 kids? That's the first thing, and that's the reason why I'm saying you need to be very stingy with your womb. The other part, again, that I'm going to go ahead and say is that if you are happily married, can you keep your marriage off this internet? We're not saying be secretive about it, but if there's any advice I'll give, do not let people see too much about your marriage. I really, truly do believe in that whole bargain, monitoring whatever evil eye and stuff like that. Guys, people do weird, weird stuff out there. Someone can go and target your husband by the things that you guys discuss. So, oh, he loves this. Oh, he does. And they will go and target him with those stuff that he loves because there are people that are sick in the head. So for me, when it comes to this, I, I mean, as I said, I have not watched these people um, but with the video that I actually saw, I do appreciate the fact that the guy was calm, even though he was insultive, especially towards the kids, he wasn't insultive towards his wife, which is something that I would go ahead and say that, okay, you know what, at least I appreciate that he wasn't being any physically violent, which again, is something that we do appreciate. He seemed to be calm. I think that if anything, he felt disrespected, but sir, in order for the kids to respect you, you also need to respect yourself. That's how it operates. That's how it works. If you did not bring your business in front of the kids' eyes, them kids would not have felt to say that, let's sit you down and actually have a chat with you like a little pay pay. Because you be acting like one. You know? So for me, I don't know. When it comes to this whole situation, I know that if it was my vendor behind... I, you you would be killed that night. <laughs> well, anyway, maybe this is just the trauma responding. But other than that, it really honestly isn't trauma, guys. It was also just a form of respect. You don't enter when your parents are having a fight. If you guys are in the room and they are starting to have a thing, you pay, you take everything that is yours, even your little sisters and your little brothers, and you lot leave and close the door give them a moment you do not interfere you know and i won't even lie you know i i grew up in a somewhat healthy home i wouldn't hear my parents argue unless if you were you were eavesdropping you know they did all the arguments in the bedroom but <laughs> it was nothing ever in front of us so i do appreciate that uh, the fact that at least you know both our parents um you know were able to just be respectful towards each other, especially for the sake of Mwana, for the sake of Abana, you know, they would never do that. So I also just am asking myself, like, why wouldn't she give him the keys? Do they only have one car? Because that seems to be a very big house for them to can only have one car, you know. So obviously she needs the kids to drop the kids, uh, the car to drop the kids off to school, understandable. But do they only have one car? But at some part, I heard him, it's like he said, whichever car I don't care, you can give me the keys. So they must not have one car. So I'm not understanding why she wouldn't just give him the keys. The guy did not seem drunk, wherein maybe she would say, oh, you know, I was afraid that, you know, he might get into an accident because he wasn't thinking straight. Or maybe she was just thinking of the fact that, you know, he's upset and he's not going to think straight. I do not know. But basically for me, I will go ahead and say that have a number of kids that you can be able to, to, to support. Um... And yeah, it's weird. It's crazy. I won't even lie. But anyway, do go ahead and comment down below what you guys think of this whole situation. From my mom in the I love you guys. Stay blessed. And I will see you guys in my next upload. Bye, ninjas.